All right, we're doing this Black Sea War mission. Has no bearing on the current conflict. So, what is it? Turkey is trying to invade. What? I don't know what's going on. Turkey declared war on Bulgaria. Okay, so we're playing as Bulgaria. Is Bulgaria on the Black Sea? Just looking for Perry stuff. It is indeed on the Black Sea. Okay. Oh, it borders, borders Turkey down there. Okay. We're not even going to be anywhere near Ukraine. Uh, let's just make sure all this truthiness is off. And turn that off. Looks good. All right. Something with the Perry. We'll figure it out. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, task force en route from the southeast heading towards Burgas. Borgas. The hostile fleet include a destroyer frigate and LSD. A few submarines spotted south and southeast from your position. Small fleet from our nave base, Atia. On the way to protect the motherland. Try to stop all hostile threats. <laughs> I'll try all right. Will we do it? That is always the question. <laughs> oh, I don't know what kind of loadout I want for the helo. Incoming transmission. <laughs> Try not to laugh at the grammar. Uh, two hostile subs operating in your area, 20 miles east, 25 to 40 southeast. Hostile subs? We have these positions. <clears throat> oh, there's already missiles flying? No, these are planes. No, these are missiles. Steven's logo, okay. Switchblade, KH-35, Uran. Yeah, we got Grisha. P3. Bunch of tiny stuff. I'm assuming Bulgaria does not have parries. I could be wrong. Hello, PHG. A crap ton of mines just in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look at that flanker! Friendly kilo. There's a there's a friendly sub near where this supposedly hostile sub second range is starting out. All right, we gotta get that helo up. Okay, you press the button and then you just gotta leave it. If you press it again, it resets the countdown because it's dumb. Oh. Okay, you change the load out here, not at the the start screen anyway. Okay. I just noticed the C goes at like, uh. The C only goes at like 20 or 30 F frames per second or something. Updates per second is perhaps the, the better way to put that. We are out of the wind envelope. Good to know. Okay, so these subs seem to be kind of far away. Oh, is this thing dragging? Most likely, yes. 
Well, let's just go for standard right now. <laughs> People talking about like VR and modern naval warfare. I'm just imagining being on like a surface ship in like a storm. Everyone's getting seasick. Moving oil rig. No, it should be stationary. Two knots. Vulcan Rider, thanks for following. Oh, let me turn the uh, the game up. I noticed it was a little quiet. In the uh, the video, the last video. Up, 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 uh, it is moving to the north, seemingly. Maybe that's just something weird with the currents. It kind of just looks like someone plopped like a factory, <laughs> like the model. It's just like a little factory on the platform. Is it riding the waves? Okay, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Oh, did this thing come back in? No, I didn't retrieve any of it. Array depth. Let's 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 retrieve some of it. Vulcan Rider, do I live in Maryland? I do indeed. Let's get this to like 2,000 and see where we're sitting. These are some hellish, some hella seas going on out here. Oh, you live in Virginia. Nice. Jewel Helm, how's it going? Ooh, is this a, a safe environment with which to launch a helicopter? <laughs> Where did all these harpoons just come from? Oh, did the P3 launch them? Okay, maybe I should turn my rate. Do I even have, like, Link on? Where's, where's Link? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, missiles are flying. Sensors are going on. Okay, this thing is still dragging. Retrieve the tow array. Aye, sir. Used to work at NIH. Well, well. I drive by there rather frequently. Is it still dragging? Probably. Okay, yeah, it's pretty shallow out here. May not be of much use to us. Well, let's try and get east to some deeper waters. Come left to course. Zero, eight, seven. Aye, sir. Okay, that makes the wind envelope worse, yeah. Okay, we'll have to turn to like... Where's the wind coming from? Northeast? No, uh, southwest. We're not working, so much to do. Yeah, I can't even imagine Jewel Helm. Okay, they... Someone around here seems to be privy to what's going on. We got all these missiles flying. I don't see nothing. That's that Istanbul down there. Istanbul. Well, there's the old Crimea. Just interesting to look at the topography. I always like how 
Dangerous Waters greatly exaggerated the, the topography. <laughs> Sometimes, like, Google Maps topography leaves something to be desired. It's like, I want to see more. Need more detail. There's a hair zone. It's like right around here. TAO, sonar soup. New passive track. One, zero, zero, five. TAO, sonar soup. New passive track. One, zero. Okay, zero, it looks like that amount six, of real then did, did some soup. good. So this is, is this just an ASW operation now? There should be a. There's supposed to be surface threats too. Tired technician, hello. Scammed your boss into a day off today. Well, hopefully he's not watching. TAO sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one zero one one. TAO sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one zero one three. TAO sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one zero one five. TAO sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity. Oh my God! Look at that swell. Jesus. Zero one seven. Like how the Strait of Istanbul just doesn't exist. Yeah, the Bosporus. <laughs> yeah, the the, uh, the terrain's very clunky. At some point, I tried to look into how to like import a, a more high res terrain mapping into the game, but didn't get very far on that. Oh, what do we got out here? SA eleven. Which one is that? SA eleven. No information available, typical. For some reason I want to say grumble. I don't really don't know my sands that well. <clears throat> Sometimes DW is very atmospheric even though the graphics are poor. I don't know if I've, ever, if I've ever thought of dangerous waters as being atmospheric. Doesn't mean it's not. Or that it can't be. I just don't think I've ever thought of it that way. Yeah, that's why I like, uh, I haven't played it, but I like the look of the new Flight Simulator game, because it's like, it's stylized a little bit. It's not just real. That's why I'm kind of like holding my breath about the new Stalker game, because the original one was just like, you know, you know, there was like a creative vision there and it was ambitious. And that's where it gets like the charm from. Kind of worried the new one might be too polished y, too polished and kind of uh, soulless or something. But I have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see. Stalker of Duty, because <laughs> it's on uh, it's on like Unreal Engine now or something. And I'm like, uh, X Ray Engine had its problems, but it also had a lot of charm. We are just uh, <laughs> spinning, turning some air. This has to be C State Five. The max the game lets you do. I wish they had like a swell, like swell directions and not just a uh, random noise, basically. I don't recall really ever being on like in the bridge on, in this game for like heavy seas. It is trippy. <laughs> Whoa, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, nowadays with like movies and TV shows and games, they kind of all know what like sells now, so it's become very productized. I guess I would say more so with like movies and crap with all the nostalgia nonsense. No one wants to take risks on new things. It's just very interesting. I'm not saying it's good or bad one way or the other, it's just interesting. Doesn't get rid of my old movies that I can still watch. I never liked Metro either, and I think it's because it's so story focused. I kind of just had this revelation the other day. Like, it's really just. It's linear. Like, Half Life is linear, but in a more organic way. Like, I feel like with Metro, if you like that game, most of the reason you're playing is for the story. I've come to realize I like my games to be games and I like my movies to be movies. I don't really like them to cross over too much. <clears throat> oh, I love Half-Life too, but maybe it's because I was uh, young when I first played it. HFX Pro, hey, thanks for following. The books are much better. I would imagine so. Because there's so very little that you can actually have like an impact on in the game. Yeah, I also find that interesting about media. It's so relative, like every generation has their own movies and music and games, it seems. And that was just uh, a big game I played in my formative years. <laughs> Speaking of like shows or movies and their source material, I uh, I want to read the Expanse books. Like I love the show. I haven't done season six yet. I'm not really. I don't really have like high expectations. Yeah, but so oh boy. In the water, bearing one, two, okay. Zero. Well, this is stock. That could be also like infinitely far away. Yeah, I don't think that's anywhere near us. Is that it? Yep, that's it. <laughs> the infinitely far. Where did that come from? Did that P3 get shot down? Where did that P3? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Engine ahead, flank. Come left to course. Zero, four, nine. Aye, sir. Launching chap to starboard, sir. Just based on the trajectory, I think that I think the P3 did get shot down. I think that's a Sam for the P3. So I don't think I have much to worry about here at the moment. Oh, where was I? Yeah, but uh, I kind of don't want to read the books for The Expanse because I don't want to ruin the show. <laughs> I don't want to become that, oh my god, what is happening with whatever this is. I think the game is kind of derping out on the sea state and the wave riding here. Engine ahead standard. Oh, 
Let's just do two thirds. <clears throat> yeah, I'm of the opinion that like a show or a movie should be able to stand on its own. You shouldn't have to go to like the source material. Easier said than done, of course, and not always possible. Because books have to be adapted to movies. They can't just be one-to-one -one translated. Yeah, how are the Metro games that's like more open world seeming? I was going to play one of those, but my like coupon that I got with the graphics card expired for it before I could redeem it. Maddie Conrad, hello. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that that doesn't have any. Excuse me. That that for some reason that uh notification doesn't have a sound. Do it. <laughs> I'll Do play it though, at least for you. <laughs> Lord Vader. There you go. <clears throat> I'll have to figure that out later. Bob, howdy doody. Yeah, just fighting things in Metro was so boring. Yeah, I was just kind of... Everything was bullet spongy. I don't know. I just don't like Metro. And that's fine. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't really like the Stalker sequels too much either. It's really just that original game. I wish I would tell you when you started doing your Hilo stuff. Okay, it's probably been about 15 minutes. The See if we can get a little more length out on this bad boy. Because we're in dangerous waters and now we have surface clutter on like 688i. Or cold waters for that matter, matter too. Or what I call surface clutter. I don't know what the proper name for it is. <laughs> There's so many things where I just call it something. Like I'm sure this has a proper name. We are Black Sea. Playing as Bulgaria against the Turks. Saved about six grand, fired the new dentist. You want to drill out all your teeth? You can't drag on this thing, you can only click. Why am I only seeing filter on me? 
not changing as I click around. Oh, okay. Maybe? Yeah. This thing still confuses me. Probably a wiring issue. My speakers sometimes do it too. Just like, uh, I don't want to open these freaking things to take a look. I think I did at some point. And I couldn't see anything, and that's where I'm like, ah, god damn it. Because these headphones, I uh, I vacuumed off the original headphone jack, so I had to uh, solder in this new one. My first time soldering something, but. It worked. Still going strong. Oh, just some whatever one I got from Radio Shack. <laughs> just dated myself <laughs> it was still there seven years ago man i think that was like seven or eight seven or six years ago when i soldered that thing good god i guess it's had a soldered connector longer than it had the original one at this point i think i got these headphones back in college still have blockbuster card in your keychain jesus I guess Blockbuster started to go away around, like, early 2000s. Back when Netflix used to be, like, the DVD in the mail thing. <laughs> We're doing, like, the complete opposite direction for the wind envelope. But yeah, you didn't date yourself when you said you're around for a poem. <laughs> kind of just slipped my mind. I'm a little, a little out of it today. Should I be in charge of a ship? Probably not. That's why we're playing a game. bunch of capacitors yeah, I don't have I don't have room for anything in my apartment even when I finally get a house I'm just just not the type to usually have a lot of a lot of stuff around I'm not a collector TAO helo control at alert status ah there you go finally Kilo? Yeah, this is a friendly Kilo. Vladi Kafkas? Isn't Kafkas like a... Or am I thinking of Kafka-esque? <laughs> I don't know. I 
I want to say Jimmy Kafka, but it's Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> My brain is just going all over the place today. <clears throat> the Torp was actually... I think the P3 dropped a Torp over here before it was shot down by a Sam. And it's just uh, the stock game. One of the things that RA did that I like is <laughs> get rid of the infinite torpedoes in the water. Because we got that call out from like 70 miles away. 140,000 yards. Like, hey, I think someone just shot a torpedo at us. Oh, no shit, Buckley, get the hell out of here. Okay, I wish I could get this thing out of my way. Two, no, don't five, do that. Degrees rudder, eyes, sir. Rudder midships. <clears throat> Come right to course zero four five. I, sir. Okay, this conflabbit infernal peri toad. I think if you switch beams, it still shows all the crap from the previous beam you were on. It just takes a while to update, which is horrifically confusing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the second time I've said whatever to the toad in like five minutes. <clears throat> hey, port him over to Luami, rent a cow, play him. <sighs> May the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> See you later, tire technician. Damned. Oh, there's a flare. Why is there a flare? <laughs> do, 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 boo, boo. How's our depth looking? Well, let's see if we got a layer here. A6, hello. Finished watching your 90 Cold Waters campaign, but surprised to see your name's the Sonar Crew voice in the credits. Yes, indeed. Does it not bother you to hear your recorded voice for dozens of hours of gameplay? Oh, no, I got over that with all the video editing I've had to do for this channel over the years. <laughs> you just get used to it. Like, at, at first, if you're not used to it, when you hear your, your own voice playback, you're like, what the hell? Is that what I sound like? And it has to do with... Uh, when you yourself talk, certain vibrations go through your head that you hear differently as opposed to a recording. But over time, you get used to it. And now when I hear myself talk on a speaker, it sounds no different than I'm talking right now. Which is a very interesting. Oh my god, Dexawash. Thankfully the Hilo is not out there. Harry Toad is interesting indeed, PhD. <laughs> Ever been to Battleship Cove in Massachusetts? I have not. I've really only been to Boston in Massachusetts. I don't know if it's in Boston or not. Would drive you nuts if you were a voice actor in a game. <laughs> yeah, I imagine for most people it would, but I've gotten... Uh, I've gotten very much used to hearing my own voice. I 
Oh, that's why I turned it down to do voice acting. <laughs> Yeah, at first I hated it. I mean, it's hard to put me back into that time period because it's... It'll be a 10-year anniversary next, uh... This upcoming winter that I started my channel. Jesus Christ. Yeah, at first I hated it. At first I wouldn't do any editing. I would just kind of, like, put the video out. But then that changed over time. Yeah, now they don't even think about it. It's in Fall River near Rhode Island. Should look it up. Yeah, well, might be even might might be moving to the Boston area soon here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the girlfriend might have a job opportunity up there, but yet to be seen at this point. Some of us watched it. <laughs> how how long have people been watching me? I know, like Maddie Conrad's been here for almost the whole time. Oh yeah, the old Kenny Cut one. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh yeah, the uh, barbell. There's a barbell up there. I mean, I don't really edit these streams either. I just kind of, I just chop off the beginning and the end and any breaks. Because I just don't have the time. i got to put all my, those Atomic Age videos take so much time. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure a lot of it's because of my ineptitude as an editor. But they take a lot of effort. Oh, it's not the barbell, it's the, uh... The killer whale. <laughs> oh, what the hell is it? I, it's in my head. The first teardrop diesel submarine that the U.S. Navy made. Oh, what the hell's the name? I remember it in that Jane's, Jane's Warship book, 3x5 little reference book I had as a kid. It doesn't have an X an X rear plane thing, does it? I don't know why I thought of that. Oh, what the hell's the name? I was in college when Manny Conrad started. Good God. Oh, the Wisconsin's down in Norfolk. Oh, like the uh, the Iowa thing? Yeah, at some point I wanted to get up to... I want to get up to Philly to see the New Jersey, at least. Or is Wisconsin a different class? <clears throat> what the hell is that submarine called? It's one of those things. It's, it's, it's that exact situation where you have to stop thinking about it because <laughs> your brain just does not want to think about it. Okay, where's that little buoy? Senna boy. I never launched it. Archerfish, no. Sculpin. Uh, I 
Oh, Christ. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Just can't think of it. I know, I drive by Philly so much. Well, not so much, but every time I go to my parents, I drive by Philly. TAO Hilo Control at alert status 15. Albacore. There you go. Frickin' Albacore. That stuff you get in the can at the grocery store. You put some mayonnaise in it. <laughs> <clears throat> No layer. Are we bottom limited? Uh, we could be convergence zone. I don't know why their convergence zone sound speed profile is so like abnormally deep layers, but could be CZ. Okay, well, surface duct, yeah, there would not be a surface duct in the storm, so that was a good, good job by the mission editor. Well, today, what you've won is a big old uh, shout-out from FPS Chesley Way. <laughs> oh, mm, the toad got loud for a second. There must have been an explosion somewhere. I didn't hear a loud explosion. Yeah, those definitely look like explosions. Right? No explosions? No explosions. Oh boy. Notifications. Mute. That's weird. I have my phone set to airplane mode to try and conserve battery for my little stream software that I run on my phone so I can like change scenes and whatnot. How am I getting text messages? <laughs> they going through the Wi-Fi? That's weird looking. You can see a little seam. Project 636B. Alright, alert 15747. Okay, should we come up to that 5 here shortly? That illusion mission was hilarious. I guess when the, when you shoot like an air when in like other missions when you shoot the airport model with like tomahawks, like the the 3D image just like zooms out so far that the, like the explosion effect is like the same size as it would be for like a a much smaller ship or something. But goddamn, that was hilarious from <laughs> looking from the boat. It's like oh my god, nukes are going off. Tao Hilo Control at alert status five. Oh, we got a we got a chains position for the Hilo. Hilo Whiskey Roger one two one two three Bravo. Aye, sir. I 
think this is the only time I can recall being out of the wind envelope. But we got some wicked hardcore wind. Would anyone actually be fighting a battle in this kind of weather? This seems very, uh, <laughs> very rough. Oh, the helo's destroyed. <clears throat> TAO, sonar soup, bearing ambiguity resolved for track one. Zero, zero, nine. TAO, sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one. Zero, zero, seven. TAO, sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one. Zero, two, one. The high chop carrier ops. There's that one documentary. Is it like carrier? It's like a PBS documentary? I think uh, what's his face from uh, the Fighter Pilot podcast is actually in that documentary. Oh, holy crap! Wow, that was a swell we just hit. But yeah, like the deck is just heaving like so much. It's it's freaking crazy. It's like I yeah. I mean, if it's just a badly timed approach, you just have to go around. I don't know how that works. Set green deck. All right, launch that sucker. And wasn't it at night too? It was heaving and at well, I guess heaving is not the right word. That's up and down. It's pitching. And at night. <clears throat> and to like stand at either end of that deck while it's doing it must be like that has to feel weird. Cause like you're just at like the edges of the of the shit. There must must be just so much like relative motion. Be ready to take it in the shorts. What? <laughs> I've been there a few times. I got family in Boston, but never longer than a few days. TAO, sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolved for track one, zero, zero, nine. Sonar suit bearing ambiguity results. Best hoagies. <laughs> They've been called hoagies and Baston. It's like the Philly name, isn't it? Hoagie. Is it Hero in New York? It's always just been subs to me, just the generic American name. <laughs> yeah, Bill Burr will jump out of nowhere and punch me in the eye. Grinders. Okay, that's the other one. All right, any second now, the Hilo should be launching. And then the fun begins. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I'll take a look. The girlfriend likes being walkable to many things, so we'll just have to figure it out. And I'd I'd be working from home. I mean, I like being able to walk to places too. Not missing anything, right? I got a green deck, wind envelope. Ooh, look at that big splash. Yeah, I, I hate commuting. I like driving, but I hate commuting. <laughs> Bridge, helo control, helo away. There we go. That was more like alert 10. All right, let's just head uh one eight do southerly here. Helo link established. Vampire inbound. Oh, two. Okay. Two. Not vampire inbound. It's a friendly missile. Friendly missile. Sunboin. Again, I don't know what they're shooting at. I'm not privy to this information. Show link. Oh, Empire inbound bearing. There we Two, go. Five, one. This is what I've been missing. There's an enemy parry. What the hell's nonsense is this? Uh, maybe Turkey does have parries. Or it's just a nonsense mission. <laughs> Oh, this thing is, uh, holy Christ. This thing is cooking and booking. Seems to be missing. Unless it's going for something else. Why is that, why is that Kilo not engaging this Bremen? Maybe that's not its mission. I don't know what they're shooting at. Range 65 miles. Did they just miss? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I've never been on the Boston subway either. I mean, Boston's not a very big city in the grand scheme of things. Got the parakeet again. Mr. Agador, you're chirping. Tweeting, going crazy. I think they just missed, or this thing isn't here. Okay, Elo. Vampire inbound, bearing two. Stop five, doing that. Two. Those are friendly missiles. Vampire inbound, bearing. Two, five, two. Did you guys adjust? Is the wind just blowing these vampires away at like breakneck speed? Or vampires, did I say vampires? I meant to say flares. You gonna get a hit this time, Mr. Guy? Boyd. 
No, that's just my Brooklyn accent for bird. <laughs> there it went. You missed it, Magellan. Okay, bye. <laughs> Someone's active banging. I didn't realize this thing was just like a missile boat. What does it carry? Four missiles? Okay, so he wasted them all. Good. Unless there's something down here. Okay, this thing has hit the water several times already. Hit something. Nope. <laughs> Clipped a wave. You okay. Roger, out. Give me a boy. Boy. My boy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we gotta see what this lay is like over here. And I'm glad. Shayla. Shall we give him a harpoon? Oh, Germany, huh? Oh, the bird pinging, okay. Yeah, I notice that sometimes when I watch back streams, if it's like, if I don't read a comment until it's like two minutes later, I'm just like completely, what? Launch area. Launch area for whom? Erwin, hello. Hey, we got the parry toad. I'm not really using it because it's still Greek to me. And it's uh, usually the types of missions with you play with parries, it usually isn't time to mess around with the toad, nor does it usually detect anything useful. Mm, let's stop cavitating. Zero, seven knots. Aye, sir. Do they even bother telling you if you're cavitating in the in the skimmer? in the air game you'd be able to have much the same type of scenarios like you have here nice what do you mean exactly just like all the setup of, of ships and the same fidelity of control well not the same fidelity of control of a single ship but like at a higher level like what I'm doing as opposed to actually reading the toad or doing TMA or anything is that green deck Set green deck for what? All right, let's uh, let's let's shoot some poons at this guy because why not? Uh, let's see. I want to dog leg him, but there really isn't like a dog leg setter upper. Oh, that disappeared. 
Did that ship get sunk? Instead of playing the pair, you can control other assets. Yeah, yeah, that part I did know. Fidelity is quite high. Nice. You only get four poons. Yeah, I don't know, like, more about that, if you could get more or not. Uh, wow, look at that. You cannot unload SM2s to load more poons, though. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened with that ship. Did it already get hit? And just now got updated? Oh my gosh, this guy's about to hit, like, a mine or something. Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't launch these poons then. Been a horrific waste. I was trying to think in my head like how long it takes to launch a harpoon. To try and if you just make these ranges like almost like the same as accounting in for how long it takes for the how far the previous poon will fly before the next one launches, then you can like dog leg them. So it's like, Nyo! all comes in at once. Could turn on truth to watch the light show. <laughs> That's a good point. Now uh, the link's a little out of date. Okay. Or a little off. Oh, it's an hour old. Okay, so the P3 must have picked these guys up before he got shot down. Yeah, because I was going to say, we are over we are over the horizon for each other here. Okay, no layer. Bottom limited. And the question is, bottom limited, sand, rock, or mud? Okay, yeah, so we will be searching with Vlad Shallows then. Because it is very stormy. I think this thing takes like four minutes to deploy. Damn, this gets deep. This gets pretty deep out here. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the resolution. I mean, at this level, 600 miles out, it's fine. But then down here... Very chonk. Seems like it's almost like half a mile resolution on these on these grid squares. Vampire inbound bearing two, five, four. When it used to run choppy the game. Whoa. Oh, they got missiles inbound. Holy shit. Oh, they got the oil rig. Jeez, oh my god. Where are we supposed to protect that oil rig? Oh, 
Oh, we got a hot buoy. <laughs> What's a little oil spill? Man, those guys were freaking up to test, though. They were lighting up with the grumbles. But they were pretty far away, 10 miles away. You're not going to really intercept anything. I'm surprised they even saw those missiles. Or we supposedly have a hot buoy. Nothing. All right, we're going to start setting up grids and nonsense. Well, we don't have to worry about a layer, so we can use Vlad Shallows and Deeps, and we can use Die Far Deeps. But alas, we cannot change the loadout on our Hilo here. I have to recall the Hilo if it were to search the second area, but there's a friendly sub over there. I mean, we shouldn't be dealing with that. Um, okay. It has been a while since I've had to make a Sonobui search grid. So let's do the old... I mean, three and a half miles away. And then we'll do triangular pitched. Very nice and deep. I can remember when this game used to blue screen a lot. I don't really recall. I don't think I had that experience. Maybe I was lucky. Feeling lucky, punk. Oh, here we go. Is that just me? TAO, sonar soup. Yep. Passive track. One, zero, four, four. Okay, so it's not mud or nothing. Pantera, Panthera, two eight three. Hello, thanks for following. Okay, so that means I'm still cavitating, huh? Yep. Engine ahead one third. And gone. Yeah, so it's, it's a rock bottom type out here, so we have some righteous, some righteous sound propagation. Should we just go blazing in, pinging? Maybe. Come left to course zero nine six, I sir. Okay, so that's just trash then. That's an hour old. I'm just going to delete all these because we should not be privy to this information. I mean, I guess I could have kept them, but we know there's a stuff out there and we might be hearing explosions soon if they keep going that way. <laughs> Oh, 
This first one says south and southeast. This one says east and southeast. Conflicting information. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Had to get some Halloween candy, of course. Okay, so we were making quite a ruckus for a while. There was some sub out there that was going to shoot me. I think they would have done it already. Or at least they had an, an opportunity to, if that Sona Booey was picking me up. I think the toad is still falling from my reduction in speed. Oh, this has not been on this entire time on auto crew. Goodness me. Got a hot buoy channel five. Do we? I don't think so. Maybe I'm doing my buoys on the wrong side. Maybe it should be on this side because it would be kind of heading this way, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's just eyeball some more. We'll take this next one over here. That can't be right. Can it? They're already there? I don't think so. Where's that link coming from? Just blanked out Bach. 
<laughs> right. Right. Um, why are you telling me you're hot, Bowie 5? Bowie Channel 5 don't seem to be hot. Ooh, sorry. Uh, should I remro this helo? I don't know. Not getting any ESM from that direction. I think it's a bugged link. There's no way they're there, but I'm not going to turn the truth on. They made it through there and no one got hit. No one got hit by a mine. I mean, I guess it's possible. How close they gotta be to these things? <clears throat> Birds in your office are responding to <laughs> a parakeet. Agador. Agador. Agador Spartacus is the parakeet's full name. Oh, I was there for a, a brief tiddly wink. Piddly wink. And then gone. TAO EW. New track one zero four seven bearing two eight zero. Oh, the flanker. Oh, my God, it's gone. Mark two. Sonar Soup, new passive track, one, zero, four, nine. TAO, Sonar Soup, new passive track, one, zero, five, zero. Oh, are we just picking up all these guys all of a sudden or something? Buoy away. Hmm, got that brief blip of something on the sonar buoy. Whoa, hey, who ha, uh, hey, hi, who dear. Influencer parakeet. Oh, God. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Fortune favors the reckless. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's light off a ping. Or the, the edge of our envelope here. But why not? You play against them server ships, they can ping all the time. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, what's that? Is that a bottom bounce or something? Nothing. Range 500 yards. I don't know what that little anomaly is. It 
had some back. And it's gone. Yeah, and it's gone. Your money's gone. Some of these have... Oh, look at that. Some mines have been hit. Or some mines are missing, at least. Where are those flankers at? Well, just gone now? So confused. Some stuff has hit mines. I don't think these ships are up here. Oh, there's the flanker. Shooting missiles. I don't know. Oh, I can set this guy to dip. I forgot about the dipper. <clears throat> oh, PhD mind mill. Boo -wee -wee. <laughs> forgot about the dipping. All right, let's go dip. Mm. Let's go do it right here. I thought that was only Lawami though. I think you can in RA. TAO EW. New track one zero five two. The last time I said of what one of the last times I played RA, I said a Seahawk to a uh Oh, thank you for dropping your buoy. Um I said a Seahawk to a waypoint, but it was like active dip and not passive dip. I think that's the parry thing. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track. And that's One, picking up zero, me. Five, four. What, really? Uh -oh. mm. No, that might be a sub. Uh, do like here. Oh, uh, you can't mode over here. I don't know why. Yeah, there's definitely a sub nearby. Somewhere. I'm not cavitating. There's multiple things. Okay, uh, seven then. Um, mm, mm, they went away. False positive. This is still here. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track. Okay, that's zero five. More likely five. to be from there. Five is getting something. Okay, so. With that knowledge, four is not getting it, so it might be. In, I think I need to go closer to five. Four should be getting it. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track, one, zero, mm. five, six. It's not just me. It looked like it was at like a 50. It's definitely at 50. Is there a fishing boat out here? Just seems weird. It's like, is it right on top of me? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
about the old trace. TAO, sonar suit, new passive track, one, zero, five, seven. Buoy deployed. Oh, rip. <laughs> Flanker one bye bye. Oh, they are eating all the mines. Did your helo shoot him down? The flanker? No, I got shot down by one of them ships. Flew a little too close to the sun. Oh, I hate this. You can't change. Am I missing something about why I cannot change the mode on these, these ones over here in the second column? It's always been that way. Boo, 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 boo. It's a tot. <laughs> it's so weird. I mean, I guess I could like use it to keep an eye on more buoys at once. Only in like an omni sense. Whatever was making noise out here seems to be gone. You can't even mark or anything. Well, you can't mark on Omni. Oh, the other one got shot down too. <laughs> or whatever that was. Someone just like flew across it. Two subsonic missiles. Is that gonna do anything? What is going on over here? Like doing donuts. He's got the gun trained on something. Oh, there was something in the water, but now... Seemingly nothing. Oh, they shot him down. It's a French ship. Oh, I meant to launch a Vlad off my side. Why did I launch a BT? What's your lat lawn? Uh, forty two twenty nine north twenty eight thirty one. East. Southwest corner of the Black Sea. <sighs> oh. 
I wanted to see them hit those mines. That would be cool. <laughs> Try lighting off another one of these things. I'm assuming because this mission was on Subguru that it's like vetted, but I'm not sure that's certain. We had something on four there. TAO sonar soup, new passive track one zero six zero. Okay, that's just these guys wheeling and dealing, going flank. Oh, very shallow over there. Turning and burning. SG. What's SG? Subguru. Oh, I've just I was just on it today. <clears throat> Still up and kicking, but yeah, it's I need to like try and find like some website downloader thing <laughs> just to get it all. Just in case. But uh, yeah, I, I just got on it today. It's still up. See, three's picking up stuff to the due west. This guy? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> this kilo's just derping. I'll stop. No sign of nothing out here. Yeah, I don't know why it's still running. I guess someone's still paying for the domain. But I think it's the same link I've always been going to. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track, one, zero, six, one. TAO, sonar soup. New passive track one zero six two. Oh, hello. What is that? Come left to course zero six nine. Aye, sir. Hey, <laughs> sixty nine. Excuse me. TAO Sonar Soup, new passive track one zero six three. Wow, it's picking up that group, huh? Maybe this guy, the Type Forty Two Holonish. Oh, I, that's what I'm picking up. That sound propagation is not so. 
So many people in this game, when they make missions for like bottom limited, they always leave it as a rock. They never change it to like mud or sand. That sound propagation is unreal and how stormy it is out here, in my opinion. Like, what is that? 50 miles away? Air guitar solo. <laughs> you medieval dickweed. Ooh, I swear there's nothing out here. this helo been out an hour bow boo seven's just picking up everything from these guys oh my god 45 knots that tyrant toll is going at it Someone was like, flank it up. Is the Kerch the, uh... Oh, uh, they might just be, like... Changing position from the leader? Who's the ringleader here? Based on everyone else's track is rather spastic. I'm going to say the Kerch is the ringleader here. Kerch. Kerch? I don't know. They're just getting back into their stations. <laughs> New England accent. <laughs> Are you getting the care? Sonar soup bearing ambiguity resolve for track one zero six four TAO sonar soup bearing ambiguity resolve for track one zero two zero TAO sonar soup. I'm picking up all these schmucks on the toad now. Track one zero three seven TAO sonar soup bearing ambiguity resolve for track one zero six one TAO sonar soup bearing ambiguity resolve for track one zero six six TAO sonar soup. Bearing ambiguity resolve for track one zero two three. I wish I could just wash all these notifications out. It's like, ugh. One zero two two. <laughs> I'm gonna pack the can in the yard. Is that from the beginning of Jaws? Oh. I'm I'm about to like give up on this little area here. Head on down to this next one or something. Door yard. Let's get a little more brazen here. Ugh. 
do it. Mm, why is the bottom blank? Come right to course. All right, I'm giving up One, on this area. Five, eight. Aye, sir. I've had enough. Uh, do we need to recover this guy? It doesn't even tell you like fuel or anything. <laughs> I think that would be important. Um, let's just recover it. Engine ahead, standard. I have to be going a different direction to recover this thing. Eh, this might put us in the envelope. Good vibes, OG. Hello. Just started playing again. Saw your Discord that you were live. Ah, excellent. Glad to have you here. Glad you could make it. Oh, it's getting... I think it's getting brighter out. Yeah, the mission started at like, I don't know, 7 a.m.? <clears throat> Come right to course one, seven, eight. Aye, sir. Oh, that must be me. Making a whole hell of a lot of noise. We're at four and seven. Let's look at eight and six, just for, just to be sure we're not missing nothing. And three and five. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Let me send that helo around to dip a good bit, too. Bring some beers. First video you ever saw was the Akula attack on the Nimitz. Yeah. Ten years ago. I, uh, I downloaded a submission called Sync the Nimitz Redux. A lot more stuff added to it, a lot more flavor, more aggressive AI. We'll do that at some point here. To the land of Dunkin' Donuts. I got Dunkin' Donuts down here too. I know the Dunkin'. <laughs> yeah, let me get another, uh, I'm gonna get another brewski here. <laughs> Bear back. Okay, dokie. Auto choke. Oh, thanks for following, by the way. Good vibes. Oh. I think I'll be watching a Halloween movie tonight. Probably be Bram Bram Stroker's Dracula. <laughs> <clears throat> no, in all honesty, it is a enjoyable movie. TAO Sonar Soup New Passive Track One Zero Six Nine Torpedo. I don't know where that's coming from. Check out that seven. <laughs> I 
don't know what that is. Okay, we got all the dudes off to the west, the, the group. There's me. That's the uh, the other group off to the southeast. This relative bearings. Brash Stoker's Dracula. I think that's just the first thing that came up in that list. I don't see anything there. It suggests Torpedo and it has not updated. Clean it up. What is lossless scaling? Going to dismiss the torpedo as nonsense. Hello. The freaking thirty minute final approach. Oh, I surprisingly have not clicked on this ship the whole time. Duke with the... Got the frickin' cell shading. <sighs> Don't know where this link is coming from. Oh, SQR19. Someone did TMA on that. Bravo. <clears throat> Using upscalers to change window resolution. So you mean just getting it to like keep aspect and not just be like a small game screen in the middle of your monitor or something? I just run it in a window. But yeah, to make it big enough on my 4K monitor, I make it like twice the size, and of course that just makes the pixels look even pixelier. 1600 by 1200 doesn't really help because all the text gets so small. Headly Lima. <laughs> Reminded myself of that when I said Pixley. Uh.
They never tell you like how long it takes for the Hilo to reload. I guess it's like a pit stop, just lands and it's like, <laughs> and all the buoys and fuel back, and then off it goes. I seemingly hit some of those mines, but I've been avoiding the rest of them somehow. Now we're getting close to the edge of that envelope. Slow down a little bit. Indicate pitch for one, two knots. Aye, right, sir. Bridge, Hilo control. Whoa. Hilo is on final approach. That's something. Range nine miles. Yeah, probably just them. Oh, I was like, where the hell did the helicopter go? It did that in the last one, too. It did, like, this climb. <laughs> 15 minutes, okay. <clears throat> Ooh, see was chill your roll there. Some tracking them. <laughs> it's like when my cats are looking at the birds. Like, calm down there. Yeah, the turnaround can't be terribly quick. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely let you know. Got some Boston chowder. <laughs> no, I like, like, the North End and all the Italian restaurants and all that stuff. Uh, hello. TAO, Sonar Soup, new passive track, one, zero, seven, zero. Now that's curious. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track, one, zero, seven, one. Mm, I can't rule that out being someone down there. <clears throat> but a 60. 61st frequency. That is curious. 1070 is something curious. We're just getting the helo in now, though, but I think it has to happen. What are you doing, guy? <clears throat> TAO, 
TAO sonar soup torpedo oh. in the water bearing 2 6 4 TAO sonar soup torpedo in the water bearing 2 Ow. 6 4 Vampire inbound bearing 2 6 4 Oh, there's this, an LA. What? <laughs> Vampire inbound bearing two, six, five. Oh, look, there they are. Look at that. Cool. And then I blind myself looking at the flare. Players to starboard, sir. Stop launching all my countermeasures. A friendly damn missile. <laughs> Way to go, Dennis! That's a hell of a shot. 25 miles. Oh, look, it's Shunny up there. Vampire inbound. Bearing one, two, five, nine. Bearing zero, eight. Five T A O E W. Oh, yo, hey, oh, hey, 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 Launched a tomahawk attack. Apparently, those guys are going to have all this under control. Two, five, nine. We'll see about that, though. Wave off. Well, don't shoot down all these things. Hold fire. TAO sonar soup torpedo in the water bearing zero eight six nine bearing zero eight zero TAO sonar soup torpedo in the water bearing zero eight five Okay, well that was interesting. I don't think this missile exists anymore. That response seemed a little crazy for how quickly all those ships got the SAMs out on those Tomahawks. I hear underwater explosions. Yeah, someone got hit. All right, resume the recovery process. <laughs> Engine ahead two thirds. It's cool looking. Oh, it, just, it keeps going down. That's very weird in LA. <laughs> Why? Why not a kilo or something?
Hold fire. Ooh. Is it going to explode when it hits the bottom? I remember in sub-command if you launched a missile beneath its launch depth, it would just like fail and then slowly sink to the bottom and then explode. And if you didn't get out of the way in time, it would sink you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that was back when I was playing that, like when I was like 12 or something. Good God. No explosion. Said check fire swear it's your old CEO. That was voice voices that similar, huh? <laughs> Are they make it through? I wanna see someone hit a mine, damn it. <gasps> Ooh, we might get a mine hit. Okay, we'll watch this. And then uh Watch it with truth. We'll watch this and then I'm gonna call it a stream. <laughs> Come on, get that mind hit. How close you gotta be? Apparently closer than that. Damn it! This guy really back here? Yeah, he is. Long story involving a non-moving barge and a new ad cap. <laughs> Check fire on the barge. Uh, how close? Do you, you gotta be pretty close at those mines then, huh? Damn, that's unfortunate. Wanted to see that wasp hit that mine. Ang thankly. <laughs> oh, the old wasp. Anyone remember Battlefield 2? Flying your F-35s off the, the wasp there. Tarawa, whichever one it was. They all look the same to me. <clears throat> All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.